This right here is a little game called Kirby's Avalanche. It was released for the Super Nintendo on February 1st, 1995. Now if you're anything like me, when you first saw this game, you were probably thinking, Hey! What is this? This is the exact same game as Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine! What a ripoff! Did Kirby's Avalanche rip off Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine? They essentially are palette swaps of each other, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine came out on the Genesis on November 26, 1994, Three. almost a full year before this game. But actually, no. No one ripped anyone off here. That's because these two games are actually American localized ports of a Japanese arcade game known as Poyo Poyo. Poyo, Poyo. This is the original game, a Tetris-inspired grid system, tile matching in a confined space puzzle game, along with many other similar games during its time period. However, Poyo Poyo is the best game in this genre. I think it's even better than Tetris. <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to speak the truth. But it's more than just one good arcade game. It's a full-on series, spawning many games across generations of consoles, creating a large cast of memorable characters, and even having a small animated series. <laughs> There's only one big problem with this series. Many of the games were never released outside of Japan. Man, Japan, do you even realize how spoiled you guys are when it comes to video games? You get just about everything before any other region does. Every cult classic does well in your country, not to mention it's apparently illegal to work on a game if you don't have an Asian name. Localizing Poyo Poyo outside Japan was really difficult. Outside of these two games, they tried giving the series a different name, thinking it might resonate better with audiences outside Japan, but unfortunately nothing really stuck. Not until 2017, that is. 14 years after the last North American Poyo game releases came Poyo Poyo Tetris to North America. This was the game that finally broke through the non-Japanese audience. After this, Poyo Champions was released in America in 2019, Poyo Poyo Tetris was released worldwide in 2020, not to mention Sega has been re-releasing some old Poyo games through Sega Ages on the Nintendo Switch. If there's any time to be a Poyo fan, it would be now. Now I'd love to go into a bunch of the history of the Poyo Poyo series, but that would be boring. And I'd rather just have fun and play games with you guys. I loved Mean Bean Machine as a kid on Sonic Mega Collection, but it just so happens that the original Poyo Poyo was one of the releases on the Sega Ages Collection. So, let's not worry about these other games and all the new characters, mechanics, and stuff. Let's just start, you and me, where it all began. Oh yeah, I uh, kind of forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, so this game is kind of infamous amongst fans of the series, or more specifically its English translation is. The voice acting is hilariously awful. Oh no! A lot of the names in the translation are just flat out wrong. The only name change that I actually don't mind is the Dark Prince, because his Japanese name is Satan. Y you know, it's actually kind of funny how much the Japanese seem to have an apparent obsession with Satan. Fun fact, people thought that this translation wasn't real because of how bad it was. I mean, there's no real information on an English translation being released in the US. All we know is that this exists, so people just assumed it was a really thorough bootleg. But no, it's real. I am playing it right now, officially released by Sega. You got me! Look, if you think this is bad, just wait until you hear the alternate voices for the characters in Poyo Poyo Tetris. They all sound horrible. None of them sound good. I don't intend to lose! Hi there! You ready? Beautiful! Gorgeous! Passion! Devotion! Hi there. You ready? Yeah. <laughs>
I would continue, but honestly, I think there are more efficient ways of killing yourself. Poyo is a weird series, okay? I want to say something to you, too. Can I open you up and look inside? I gotta know. Are you a bear? Or is it just a costume? B what? Don't make me question that! But now, there's a challenge that any Poyo fan should take on. You see, Poyo Poyo was originally an arcade game. If you lost, you would have to insert another coin to keep playing. So what I'm gonna do is a little challenge that I like to call a perfect Poyo run. I need to beat the entire arcade game on normal mode without having to continue once. And let me just tell you, Kirby's Avalanche... Why isn't King DDD wearing any gloves? <sighs> Kirby's Avalanche, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine? Child's Play, compared to Poyo Poyo. This game is more like if you put Mean Bean Machine on the hardest difficulty. It's not easy to get through. I've beaten it with continues in the built-in save state feature, but not in one authentic go. But today is the day that all changes. I am going to sit here and beat all 13 stages without dying once and for all. Let's do it. It's time to bully some anime girls. Unlike the previous fool, as I play for capes. Talk is cheap. Prepare for battle. Brave fool! Whew. Oh man, he is already starting to build up. Now as you can see, the basics of the game are not hard to understand. Lining up four of the same color will cause them to pop, and if you can set them up so that popping one set will cause a chain reaction, you will fill up your opponent's screen with garbage, and whoever's screen touches the top loses. Easy to learn, hard to master sort of deal. Fire! Ice storm! Full power! There, that's what we're going for. Once you hear the pew, 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 sound effect, that means you've already won. It will send so much trash over to the other person's screen that even if their board is completely empty, it will fill up entirely. That's a chain of five. That's an automatic win. Now, of course, that's a lot easier said than done, but it's good to have a set goal in mind so you don't try to build up a ridiculously large chain that will end up backfiring. Okay. Yes, all right, next stage. Fire! Ice Ice door. Door. Full Ice power! Door. Yeah, power! Full power! Just feels so good to say full okay. power! Yeah! Alright, next stage. Oh man, dude, seriously, watching you play is so frustrating. You really are not good at this game. Like, you would probably be dead if you were to take a shot every time you could have... Stop. Okay, listen. Roses are red. And violets are blue. And someone, somewhere, is better than you. And chances are they are probably Asian. You know, I kind of have a problem with the enemies in this game the same way I did as Kirby's Avalanche. They're all so cute, I kind of feel bad for beating them. Oh no! Oh. Um. Well, it looks like I failed this attempt. I'll just go ahead and reset the game and try again. Fire! Ice storm! Anyway, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, see, so yeah, the enemies are just so cute. I always feel terrible whenever I have to. Oh no! Okay, now you have officially taken this too far, buddy. This mother trucker dude, he hits like a butt cheek on a stick. He is always ruining my streaks. You know how I said earlier that this game's difficulty puts these two to shame? I think I should expand a bit on this. There are three factors that contribute to Poyo Poyo's difficulty. Number one is speed. 
After every stage you beat, the poils drop faster and faster until eventually you are just flailing around in vain hope that you can control your poils. Number two is the opponent artificial intelligence. The enemies will hardly ever set up gigantic chains against you. They can, you got me. Oh no. Oh, that hurts. but it's not very likely. They don't need to do big chains to beat you though. While you're spending time setting up a five chain, they're pulling smaller and smaller chains to sprinkle little bits of garbage until just one falls exactly where you don't want it and boom, you are blocked from the chain you just built and you are quite literally filling up your own grave. Number three is the Poyo Generation. There are five colors of Poyos and you need to align them very carefully so that you can have a really big chain. In order to do that, you need the right colors at the right time. And this is the ultimate flaw in the original Poyo Poyo. The Poyo colors are completely random. Now why is that a problem? Don't you want it to be random? Sure, to an extent, but random does not mean evenly distributed. Each color has about a 20% chance of appearing, and when you get to the point where you need just one specific one, there's an 80% chance of it not showing up. And let me tell you how infuriating it is when you have a chain set up and you just need one more color and don't you think that is enough already? Come on, I just need one more- Oh, yes, yes, it's coming up. I just need to... All of this comes together into something I like to call the sixth level of hell. Whether the name is Squeal, Lololo, and La La La, or Johnny! I just struggle really badly. It's a freaking curse. Stage seven and stage eight aren't this bad. Stage six just likes to mess with me. Everything in this game goes smoothly until suddenly it goes Bleh! Yeah, I know I called him Johnny when his real name is Panati, but I don't care. He doesn't deserve to be called by his proper name. I hate this stupid little brat. Ugh. Reset. I hate this game. I mean, I love it. But I hate it. Yes, 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 yes! Oh my word. I have never felt so much joy watching a child cry before. Did they ever figure out if video games cause violence or not? Stage 7, zombie. Done. Stage 8, witch. <laughs> You have any last words, my dear? Where did you escape from? Fire! Stage 9. Oh boy. Now this is where the game really starts to get hard. <laughs> oh shoot! Okay, okay, okay. Fire! I start- got me. Ah! Yes! Hey. Oh my gosh, okay. Now on to stage 10. Oh my gosh, this is just way too fast! Yes, yes, yes! Okay. Oh boy. Minotaurus. If I can make it past that demon spawn that is Johnny, this is usually as far as I go. It's really hard. Crap. No, 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 and that means... Oh no! Johnny, you little follower of Satan! Ugh! Moron! Okay, yeah, yeah, I could just just restart again, yeah, just go all the back, all back to stage one. Man, this poor girl! She just cannot catch a break from me, can she? I guess bullying girls is my livelihood now. I can't do this. Oh, this cannot be good for me. If I ever beat this challenge, I am never going to try again. Oh, oh my gosh, I did it. I did it. Oh, I just might be able to beat it now. Oh, okay, okay, stage 12. You got me. Oh, I got it! Oh, I'm on the final stage! Oh, the last stage! I need to beat then complete this stupid challenge! Oh, victory is within my grasp, and I'll never have to play this game again! Die. 
So, Silvana, you defeated all of my loyal followers. Well, how's your sports work? Ah, jeez! Oh, crap, crap! Ah, uh, no, 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 this is way too fast! Uh, how am I supposed to do this? This is out of control! No! No, 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 no! I was there! I was there at the final stage and I lost! I lost! What? I'm gonna have to go through this whole stupid game again just for another try! Uh, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. This game's, this game's stupid, okay? I don't need to play it. I'm just gonna play Kirby's Avalanche because it's significantly easier. Cool. I'm just not good enough. Why do I suck so badly at this game? I've been playing it since I was a kid. I'm still just not good enough to beat it. <laughs> maybe it's just maybe it's just time to give up now. Oh look, Poyo Voyo Tetris online matches. I guess the algorithm figured out I love torturing myself. Gosh, geez, how does this guy do it? I swear he's like a magician or something. Wait a minute. I think I'm starting to recognize the pattern. Gravity was my ally. It's time to practice. It's the eye of the dagger, it's a tree of the fight, rising up to the challenge of a rival. And the last non survivor stuck his prey in the night, and he's watching. So, Silvana, you defeated all of my loyal followers. You listen to me, Satan, for I will make you suffer! Fire! Ice Storm! Full Power! Pew Pew! the odd ones out you and me Poyo Poyo Tetris you take Tetris and I take Poyo Poyo and may the best man win yeah Yo, 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 yo,